This video is going to be on hour and minute calculations, which is all those types of questions you get where, you know when it says 127 minutes or 155 minutes and you need to convert into hours, or you might get like 12.45pm and that thing finishes at 3.15pm, how long did it last? All of those types of things are hour and minute calculations. And that's what we're going to practice with a few quick tips. Let's start with a real example, which is that a film I've been meaning to see for ages and never got round to it, but hopefully I will fairly soon, is The Life of Pi. The Life of Pi lasts for 127 minutes. If a cinema starts screening the film, at 1800 hours when will it be finished? when will the film be finished? now a quick note you might be a little bit baffled by that 24 hour clock thing that I'm doing but there's an easy way to convert between a 24 hour clock which is what this is and a 12 hour clock which is the AM PM kind of thing what you need to do is take away 12 so whenever it's more than 12, you can simply take away 12 and that will give you the AM or PM. What's 18? Take away 12. That is 6. So 1800 hours is 6 PM. What about 2300 hours? What would that be? 23. Take away a 12. Well, that's 11. So 2300 hours is 11 p.m. So you can always use that rule of thumb of taking away 12. But let's get back to the life of Pi. Otherwise, this video is going to last for 127 minutes. If the cinema starts screening the film at 1800 hours, when will it be finished? To answer this question, and indeed all of the questions in this video, we need to remember one core fact, which I'm sure you already know, which is that in an hour, there's 60 minutes. That number is going to be very important for our calculations. How many minutes in two hours? Well, in two hours, we could do 60 times by 2. And 60 times by 2, let's do it down here equals 120 minutes which is 2 hours so 120 minutes equals 2 hours what about 3 hours same trick so 60 times by 3 equals 180 mins which is 3 hours again all of these are going to be very useful and would be quite worth memorizing What's the closest number of hours to this film? This film is 127 minutes. The one it looks closest to, to me, is this 2 hours, which is 120 minutes. It looks to me like 7 minutes more than 120. And it is. So it's 7 minutes more than 2 hours. Indeed, the film lasts for 2 hours and 7 minutes. Many students would say it would finish at 7.27pm uh, because there's the 1 and then the 27. But that's 100. That 1 is like 100. So we can't just say that's like 1 hour and 27 minutes or something like that. We always need to look at how many 60s go into the number. What is 2 hours and 7 minutes after 6 p.m. or 6, 1800 hours. Two hours after 6 p.m. would be 8 o'clock and add the 7, it's 7 minutes past 8. Okay, what about a different film? One of my favorite films is The Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings Fellowship, the first installment. Now that 
last for a lot longer, 178 mins. So how many hours is that? Again, which one is it nearest to? Is it nearest to one hour, two hours, or three hours? It's nearest to that three hours, but it's not quite three hours, is it? It's like two minutes less, because three hours is 180 minutes. Well, how would we take away two from that three hours? We need to look at the fact that 60 minutes is one hour and take away two from that. So it wouldn't be like 2 hours 98 minutes, it would be 2 hours 58 minutes, because you take away 2 from the 60. So that film lasts for, let's do it in yellow, 2 hours and 58 minutes. Okay, what about a different kind of question? Like I was saying at the beginning, how about a question where we need to calculate how long something lasts. Let's say we have a maths exam. Appropriately enough, we have a maths exam which starts at 13.25 and finishes at 3 or 3.10 or let's convert it into 24 hours, 15, 10. How long does the exam last? Here we need to remember that magic 60. I always recommend to students, find out how many minutes it will take to get to the next nearest hour. You see the um, exam started at 13.25. First of all, we can just call that 125, because take away 12 from 13 and you get 1. So it starts at 125. How many minutes would you need to get from 125 to 60? Or in other words, to get from 25 to 60? That will tell you how long it is until 2 o'clock. To get from 25 to 60, you would need 35 minutes. So let's write 35 plus 35 mins. That will get us to 2 o'clock. Let's do it over here. How about to get to 3 o'clock? Because remember, this is 10 past 3. The exam finishes, take away 12, at 10 past 3. To get to 3 o'clock is another hour which is another 60 minutes. Add on 60 minutes, and we're now at 3 p.m. Don't forget that last 10 minutes. So to get to 10 past 3, we'd need to add on 10 more minutes. And that will get us to 10 past 3. Notice, though, we always looked how to get to the next hour. In other words, how do you get from 25 to 60? That's 35 minutes. That gets us to 2 p.m., etc., etc. In total, we have 35 minutes plus 60 minutes plus 10 minutes. Adding that all up, you would get 105 minutes. Quick bit of calculation, you get 105 minutes. So the exam lasts for 105 minutes. Just to put the cherry on the cake, how many hours and minutes is that? Well, it's not quite 120 minutes, is it? It's a bit below that. So it's not quite two hours. How many minutes below 120 is it? It's 15 minutes below 120. So it won't be two hours, it'll be one hour something. It's 15 minutes below 120. So we take away 15 from 60, which is a full hour, and you get 45. So this exam lasts for 1 hour and 45 minutes. Now I hope that gave you a taste of converting between hours and minutes and solving all sorts of time-related questions.